Hey guys, welcome back to Degas Duo, where you can explore the luxury lifestyle of your favorite celebrities. Today, we're diving into the life of world-famous Steve Albini. From his personal life, wealth and luxury accumulated, as well as his career highlights and cause of death, everything is going to be covered in this video. So, without any further discussions, let's go explore. The world of music was struck by tragedy on Wednesday after legendary indie rock producer and performer Steve Albini sadly passed away at the age of 61. He died on May 7th after suffering a heart attack. Now, let's take a look at the initial years of his struggling life. Steve Albini was born in Pasadena, California in 1962 and grew up as a teenager in Montana. He took up the bass guitar while he was in high school and soon after developed a passion for punk rock. Albini graduated from the Middle School of Journalism at Northwestern University in the Chicago suburbs, where he became involved with several local bands. In 1982, Albini founded Big Black while he was still in college and worked on the band's first EP called Lungs. Four years later, the group released its first studio album, Atomizer. They released several more albums. In 1987, Albini formed the group Raitman, for which he attracted several negative headlines. The group broke up shortly after its formation after a handful of releases. By 1992, Albini was working with the band Shellac, whose releases include the rude gesture at pictorial history, Uranus, the bird is the most popular finger at Action Park, an excellent Italian greyhound. So how did he die? What was the reason? Best known for producing some of the most groundbreaking and influential albums of the alt-rock genre, he died of a heart attack at a Chicago recording studio. He was 61. Albini's death and cause of death was confirmed by Taylor Hales of Electrical Audio. It's time to talk about the personal life of Steve Albini. Steve was married to Heather Winna, who works as a filmmaker. The Guardian has reported that the two first met in the 1990s, although exactly how they met is still unclear. Heather co-directed the 2004 film Why Should the Devil Have All the Good Music with Vicki Hunter, and she has also directed other short films throughout her career. Heather currently lives in Chicago, which is also where Steve was doing his production work. The two of them spent plenty of time on charitable endeavors. So what were Steve's hobbies and interests? Steve Albini was also engaged in hobbies like poker winning two bracelets at the World Series of Poker in 2005 as well as maintaining his famous food blog, which showcased his vast personality beyond music. While known mostly for his contributions to indie rock, Albini was also a decorated poker player. He won two World Series of Poker tournaments most recently in 2022. I now let's take a look at the luxury life, wealth and investments by Steve Albini. Among the many different projects he had, Steve Albini amassed significant wealth from the different albums he produced over the decades. Before passing away, Forbes estimated that Steve Albini's net worth was at around $2.5 million. For In Utero, Steve demanded a $100,000 flat fee with no stake in any royalties. That's the same as around $220,000 today, after adjusting for inflation. This outlook, while admirable, undoubtedly cost Steve Albini tens of millions of dollars, perhaps just on In Utero alone, considering that album went on to sell 15 to 20 million copies worldwide. With his wife, Heather Winna, they lived in Chicago, where in 2012, they bought a 4,000 square foot townhouse for $420,000 in February, 2012. Today, it is worth around $1.5 million. He also declined to take royalties, charging only a flat fee because he considered it unethical to make money from an artist's work indefinitely. Let us know what you think about his remarkable albums and work in comment section. May he rest in peace, and may we keep enjoying his contributions to rock music for generations to come. That's all for today. Make sure to like this video. To get the latest updates from the lives of your favorite celebrities and to never miss any video onwards, just hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Thank you. Take care.